Hi, this is Randy Wyckoff, the Dean of the College of Public Health at East Tennessee State University. And I'm pleased to provide the Public Health Weekly Update with data accurate as of June 8th, 2023. This week, I'm continuing our series on the best steps we can take to live a healthy as life as possible. And this week, I'm gonna address the important question of how important is it to take care of my teeth? The bottom line for me is three things. One, poor oral health can cause significant health problems directly, indirectly, and socially, and I'll explain those in a minute. Second, oral health can be maintained by regular care, brushing with fluoridated toothpaste, uh, flossing, access to fluoridated water, periodic visits to an oral health professional, and avoiding sugar, high sugar foods, as ideally starting at a very young age. And third, as a nation, we have to address the fact that fewer Americans can afford dental care than any other type of health care. It's not just an issue of how we appear. So this week, I want to address the first of these, and that is that oral health can cause significant problems directly, indirectly, and socially. Directly, of course, we're talking about any disease of the gums, the teeth, the entire oral facial system. And you and you know well, there's all sorts of issues ranging from a slight plaque on your teeth all the way up to rotted teeth that have to be removed. The nation spends more than $124 billion on costs related to health care, uh, dental care each year, much of that related to emergency care. 34 million school hours are lost each year, <clears throat> and over $45 billion is lost in productivity. Tremendous loss, tremendous cost tremendous burden from poor oral health. But also there are indirect uh, consequences of poor oral health. You know, they've known for a long time that people with periodontal disease have a greater risk of heart attack, stroke, and other cardiovascular disease. But the problem with that is that they may be directly related or may, they may be due to the fact that all of them come from smoking unhealthy diet and other factors that can lead to both dental disease and heart disease. But there's growing evidence that, in fact, there may be a direct connection, especially if you think about it. If you've got an infection in your tooth, it gets in the, the bacteria, get into your bloodstream. It can go uh, anywhere in the body. And there's also concerns about long-term implication of chronic inflammation. So there's a lot of research going on right now about a lot of different uh, chronic diseases that could be related to poor oral health. And then socially. This is something we all understand, but don't talk about a lot, but about a third of low income adults report that their appearance of their mouth and teeth affects their ability to interview for a job. It causes a tremendous loss of self-confidence. And there's actually a reason for that. And that's because we as a society tend to judge people on physical attractiveness um, based on their smile. Studies have shown that adolescents make different perceptions of someone's athletic or social or leadership skill based on how their teeth look. And for adults, it's intelligence, social competence, psychological adjustment, overall attractiveness, huge impacts <clears throat> on people's lives. And if you doubt this, just ask yourself, which of these people looks more like the folks that you work with? So how important is it to take care of my teeth? It's exquisitely important. Good oral hygiene is essential to obviously to prevent chronic periodontal disease, disease of the mouth, to reduce the risks of other diseases and to prevent social stigma and judgment. It's not just a matter of how we look or how we feel about our appearance. It's a significant public health issue. Next week, I'll address uh, the impact of good oral care and how we as a nation need to address uh, the fact that so fewer Americans can afford dental care than any other type of health care. Please feel free to share this video or all of the video series with anyone who might be interested. Uh, I am solely responsible for the content of this. Dara Young has produced, edited, captioned, and posted these videos. If you have any questions or comments about this week's update or any other emerging public health issue, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. But until next week, please be well.